Okay, I'm going to show you the showcasing a product template. So this is the one of the new templates that is available in the Kajabi email editor. And I am going to just go through the different pieces. So we're going to start with the video, which is right here. And here it will give you information, which is really nice, um, just so you have a heads up. So for the video thumbnail, you're gonna select an image. So now, we're not putting the videos in the emails. That just clogs up your email and affects deliverability. So what you do is you make sure that you put an image, people know it's a video, but then you send them outside, which is what you're seeing um, as I'm sending this email to you. Because anything you're putting inside the email, think about it as it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so the idea is to get emails into the inbox and so we want it to get in we want it to look good we want it to communicate we want it to start you know start the conversations engage our people but we can't put everything in there or it will never make it through to the inbox because it's just simply way too big of a file so on this where it says um, select an image, you want to um, pick your image. So I'm gonna go grab my image and then I will upload it for you. So let me show you how I do this. So this just happens to be a Loom video and to keep it nice and easy, I am gonna screenshot this image right here. So this is in Loom, I don't have to go make a new image. I now have a screenshot. I can now come in here and select my image. I need to upload a new file. And depending on how you do your videos, obviously you're going to pull your image from the easiest place for you. I'm just showing you some of the ways that I save time when I'm doing it because there's things that, you know, as they say, will move the needle forward on your business and there's other things that aren't. Um, this image for me, is not a deal breaker. Now, video URL, this is why I also like Loom. I can just copy this link and put it in. You can also, since this is showcasing a product, you can link it to your sales page. You could link it directly into a product, especially if it's people that have um, access to it. The overlay, that's just this gray color that's over the thumbnail. I'm gonna just switch this to my PBK blue and then I need to adjust the transparency. So I will slide this, I usually go about midway right there. Show the play button, yes. Play button color, I can change that. I like the white, so I'm gonna just leave it just like that. Okay, so clicking save. Now that is done. Here, let's, we can edit the name. So we're showcasing a, they're giving you prompts, but again, you can use this for anything. You could highlight a testimonial, you could highlight an event, you could just do anything you want. So I am going to take a few minutes, I'm gonna customize this, and I will show you guys what I come up with. All right, so I have finished customizing this. And again, this is the product showcase template. So up here, I added my video. I adjusted my text. I included on the button the RSVP to the beta access. Again, specific to what I'm sending out as the PBK newsletter. And here, these are the product features on the template. I use them to highlight the different reservation dates. So you can kind of let your mind start thinking about, okay, this is the text and text block that you'll see right here. It's called text and text. And all I did was changed the color on this block to one of my hex codes and I included a link. I'm going to show you that the reason I include the link is because I wanted to use automations and this is when you can really start Every communication we send should be intentional. It should invite engagement. I know that we have typically focused on open and click-through rates, but an even better <laughs> metric is what are the replies that you get in response to your email? That means someone clicked, they opened, 
and they exerted effort. They wanted to engage in the conversation. So automations is one way that you can leverage Kajabi to make your life really easy. So that's what I had done there. Here, this is just um, an announcement bar right here. The announcement bar is really cool. So I added this Everything I'm going to show you from here below, I added to the template. So I started with the template and then I added on to it. So you can absolutely do this. And the cool thing is that you can then save this entire email that you have that you create and clone it. So you can use it as your own starting point. And this is when you really start to leverage how strong Kajabi really can work for you. So this is just an announcement bar. I'm using it to drive registration to the Kajabi piece that people need to register for, but you could use this for anything because the action is go to a landing page, a sales page, a checkout page, or a URL. So again, all the functionality that we need. After that, I have a text block right here. So this works really well. What you may notice is that you can't just click to insert first name. So if you want to include any of the first name, last name, custom form fields, you just need to do the um, liquid tags like this. So this will show up. You'll see I have first name right there. Then after this, I used an image and text portion. Again, including links because that will allow you to leverage automations in any way, shape, or form that works for you. Again, here I used an announcement feature. This I used um, one of the features that we do in PBK is we have help questions. So what I do is I go into my Facebook group. You can do this in your own. All you have to do is have a URL. So in your Slack channels, in your LinkedIn groups, like whatever you might be using, your commu Kajabi communities, I use tags. So I can click on this tag right here. If I copy the URL, then all of the posts that have the topic of help show up right here. So it's a really easy way on multiple fronts. And now with the email templates, you can use this announcement block right here and include the link to the um, tag or the area that you want to direct people towards. So that was that section. These are just divider tabs right here. So the divider color, that is white on this example. And then I changed the background color. I liked the navy on white. So you can play around with this in any color scheme that works for you. Next, you'll see that I'm using a countdown timer. These are driven by Kajabi events. So you need to have the event set up inside Kajabi and then you simply select your event and adjust the um, colors the way that you would like them. I included a button right here. Button, again, just goes to a URL, but again, you have your standard assortment, landing page, sales page, checkout page, or a URL. And that uh, just makes it so nice when we're putting these together. Then this is an example of custom code. So you can still embed custom coding from a quiz. This happens to be from Searchy, which we use inside PBK. So on this block, which is just a text block, I wrote in my text and then I clicked on my source code. I went and pulled my source code from Searchy. So this is a third party tool. Um, it allows me to upload videos so that you can search on keywords. I copied the widget and then I just went into Kajabi and I added the widget in. You'll see it's right here. This part is the embed code. You could use this from Acuity. So if you had a calendar that you wanted to embed, any of these things, um, Kajabi really does make it incredibly simple 
and powerful for you. So that is how I took the product showcase template up here at the top. I added on to it for what I needed to do using a variety of different features. So have really have fun with this, explore. I'd love to know what you are thinking you might use it for. When you're all done, just make sure you are saving frequently. You don't wanna lose your work. When you go back, if you want to use the automations feature, open it back up. And when we do this, then down at the bottom, so down here at the bottom, you can see there are automations. So the automations then allow you to Again, you're leveraging Kajabi. Those email sequences and automations are huge. When you build them, you can use them all over the place. It's really, really amazing. So here, if I am, cho I am choosing to largely use um, if the link is clicked. So if the link is clicked, then the um, sequences will trigger. So this is why those email sequences are so important when you get them hooked up for your North Pole to New York City because then you can leverage them. So when you get your email finished, then you click save and continue, schedule your broadcast to go out whenever you want it to, and that is the debut of the new email template. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with ideas that are going to work to just, you know, engage your customers. That's where it's at. Engage right to get a reply. Have fun. Get it done. Ask questions early and often. And I will talk to you really soon.